Every day in the United States, more than 130 people die overdosing on opioids. Many of those deaths are from prescription painkillers. Yeah, because of the epidemic, many people who are legitimately in pain are looking for alternative treatments. Investigator Lewis Bolden takes a look at a laser procedure that has now been approved by the FDA. It's called the Arconia laser. It is the only laser approved by the FDA to treat lower back pain. And millions of people in the United States suffer from back pain. In fact, statistics show it is the third leading cause for doctor's visits. But is this treatment right for you? With a pulse and a flash, what appears to be a laser light show is actually a cutting edge procedure to treat pain. I had um, radiating pain down my arm, um, so I had nerve pain. After a yoga injury, Susie Rod was left with herniated discs and excruciating pain. From 1 to 10, 10 being like uh, very severe pain, I would say um, there were times when it was definitely a 10. She says a neurosurgeon recommended surgery and she was prescribed opioids to treat the pain. They prescribe them, but I'm against them. Instead, she turned to Dr. Joe Fuller and the Arconia laser. So here we go. It can be used on various body parts, but the FX635 is the first and only laser in the world to be given FDA clearance to treat chronic low back pain. This is phenomenal treatment. First off, uh, because we, we, we see it every day and how it changes people's lives. Treatments can last from a few seconds to several minutes. Dr. Fuller says the laser stimulates energy in the cells so that the cells repair themselves. He says it treats the source, not just the symptom. There's more and more doctors using this all over the world, and we're going to see more of it. I'm smiling because I could kind of jump up and click my heels because I just, I, I feel that great. Dr. Matthew Willey is a pain rehabilitation specialist with Orlando Orthopedic. Just because something is FDA approved doesn't mean it's a optimal treatment for that problem. He is not opposed to laser treatments for pain, but says not enough research has been done to determine the effectiveness. We don't know exactly how much it helps, how long it helps, uh, for what person do we treat with. You know, and what are the outcomes compared to other treatments? He also warns what works for one person may not necessarily work for others. But Rod says she is glad she took the chance. I would say run, um, not to the opioids, run to the treatment, run to the laser therapy. Because this is a relatively new treatment, insurance does not always cover it. Treatments can cost between $75 and $125, and Dr. Fuller advises patients could need 6 to 12 treatments. Getting results, I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.